Hey, this is Greg Graffin from Bad Religion and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here, and I'm so happy to say that Mr. Greg, or Dr. Greg Graffin. My friends call today. me doctor, so. Thanks, Doc. Nice I appreciate to you. you coming in so much, and Millport is the new record. Uh, something that I really have been enjoying, and you know, this uh, great folky kind of journeyman music, Americana kind of stuff. We were talking before the cameras were rolling about how you're a music lover. Yes. And I really believe that it doesn't really matter what genre you're drawn to as your initial love of music. If you really like the elements of music, you can find melody, harmony, uh, song structure in any of the genres. Sure. And I think those kinds of um, elements are on display in uh, this current album and so if you like Bad Religion for their music uh, you'll see the harmonies, the melodies and certainly not only my own vision of what these songs mean and what these songs uh, represent but also the production value because my co-writer Brett Gerwitz uh, in Bad Religion is the producer of this album Millport. If you're a fan of Bad Religion you love the more whimsical side you know, say a, a song like Sorrow or like Man With A Mission, you, you get those same kind of dynamics on some of these songs that you've done as well. And most of our um, uh, fans and many of your viewers might not know this, but um, uh, most of the Bad Religion songs start that way as a simple oh. um, chord progression and melody that's written out on piano and acoustic guitar. Cool. So it's not, you know, in those, in that respect, it's not that great of a stretch. Sure. Uh, and I saw you live with your band the other night. It was a great show. And you said something that really stuck with me. And you said, what's the one good thing about religion? <laughs> you said music. Music yeah. is the good thing about religion. And well, it seems like it. I mean, that's the one thing that I can really get into. Yeah. The philosophy, I can't really get into very much, but the, uh, or the theology. Yeah, well. As a scientist, it's a little bit um, dissonant. Yeah. Well, but the music is something that um, is undeniable in my, uh, in my experience, and it's uh, something that has moved me uh, to be a better singer and to harmonize with other people. Yeah, and you sort of grew up uh, listening to church music, right? Like going to church, well, listening I to the music. So I never, I was insulated from the church, except for the fact that my mother and her brother, who were very, brought up in a very strict religious household, handed down this music to us. Okay. So I was introduced to the best elements of the, of the church through the music. And we would sing those songs, as a, and songs from the old time Americana catalog, uh, when they were uh, gatherings at the family, uh, um, holidays so that's where my that's where my familiarity with church music came from was really those family gatherings cool and you released Lincoln's funeral train uh, right before the election uh, at a time where I think a lot of people were going well this is the end of the Republican Party like you know actually Lincoln's funeral train right there uh, so having released that song uh, was there a different perception of what it meant then and, and maybe what it means now? Well, the song itself is from a, a, a writer. It's the only song, you know, there's nine uh, songs on, there's ten songs on the album, uh, and that's the one that I didn't write. Okay. That was handed to us from a great writer and old-time musician named Norman Blake. And um, I think Norman Blake was writing it about uh, in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. when there was also great division and political uproar. And that song always uh, was symbolic to me, and I thought, what if we put a little heavier edge? It's probably the heaviest tune on the album for your hard rock listeners. That's the one I would uh, steer them towards as being kind of a hard rock anthem. But, so the song has deep history sure. that has nothing to do with the current administration. but. As in all good songs that are that are I think you know meaningful on a social level, whenever there's turmoil in current events, we gravitate and look for the symbolism and the symbolic significance of those great tunes, and certainly this is one of them. And you know, 
it may not have, um, uh, we didn't know the, when we recorded it what the uh, results of the election were going to be, so right. it was not strategized like that. Yeah. Interesting timing though. I want to thank you so much for sitting down with me. Millport, it is out March 10th. Pick it up, some whimsical tunes from this man, Greg Graffin. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you.